Well, hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome to a Tuesday night open TTD Let's Play. Hi, we're back. <laughs> what what are we are we watching? You're watching me, Master Hellish. I don't know if that question was supposed to be more specific or not. I don't know. Uh, but if you are not watching live and would like to skip straight to the gameplay. Uh, the, the timer is down here now. We moved on the other side. However, however, you're not allowed. You're not allowed to skip to it. You, you've got to, you've got to listen to all the fantastic things I've got to tell you, because we've got an event, and that event involves Open TTD. So I'm sure you want to see that. Yes. <laughs> trains and cars today. We'll probably yes. Trains. Lots of trains. Eh. <laughs> Uh, Above the Line says, been playing a bit of Minecraft Legends. I'm not sure Minecraft Legends is a genre which I would really enjoy much, but I'm not sure. Oh, look at this. Check so, kid. Keep up the good work. Really enjoy the streams and videos you do. Well, thank you very much. Is that a new donation? I. I, the reason why I said is that a new donation is because one of the things I've got to tell you about is there's been some changes to the portal and hellish tools and stuff. So I'm just hoping that like we're not getting repeat notifications and stuff now. Um, you didn't hear the sound. Oh, okay. So the sound is a Streamlabs desktop issue. Notification sound. Okay, we need the notification sound. That's new. Thank you very much. It is appreciated. Oh, that's fantastic. And of course, you will get a load of hellish points for that. Now, hellish points uh, being received, if you're watching on YouTube, should be fixed. That's the first piece of news, ladies and gentlemen. So we had lots of different things going on with uh, hellish tools, which runs the portal, and YouTube. And uh, we found a few little issues and we think it's okay now. We think it's okay. So we should be getting uh, hellish points uh, today. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> oh, what a brand new sub. Fantastic. Welcome to a brand new su a viewer plus subscriber there. Craig, congratulations on joining the viewer plus group. Oh my goodness. Newest sub. Hey, oh my god. Okay, it's all going crazy. Yeah, the pop-up does show, and I can hear the sound. So if I go into the settings, I should be able to fix that. Let's have a look. Uh, no. Sound settings? Mixer? Uh, viewer plus widget? There we go. It's set to monitor only mute output. No, we want to do both. Monitor and output. Or just output. Monitor off. Okay, let's try that. There we go. We might be okay now. Um, I've changed the setting, Brandon, now. So we'll see if uh, we get another notification what's going on. But thank you very much for that donation. Uh, that, of course, gives you lots of hellish points. And it does help out me too with everything that I do, including um, things like this. Our relatively new microphone. And loud and clear with very little hiss. It's a very good microphone. Okay, I'm going to, tr yeah, output and monitor, I think, gets us double sound, which is what we was on before, and that's why I turned it off. But let me change it. Let me change it to output and monitor, because that's what, monitor and output, that's what chat says, so that's what I will do. Okay, working through the chat, hey, uh, Dave, um, yeah, uh, Legends is already out, apparently. I might have a look at it, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Uh, right, so that's the first thing, okay? The first thing is that we should have hellish points fixed. The second thing is there is a brand new feature, and that is counters. So this is not a feature for the viewers, uh, per se. Uh, for example, if I have a crash in OpenTDD, we can have a crash counter, or, or in Kerbal Space Program and something. Now, we set up a couple of counters, and there is a counter for train crashes in Series 10, uh, and I can click a button, and it will show it on the screen, there we go, shows on the screen, and you should have heard the, now you can see zero, it says zero there, so the, there's no no crashes yet, um, so, 
we'll have to see if we get any crashes. Uh, and we've also got something else that's new, and that's votes. So the idea is, is that if me or a moderator sets up a vote, it will show up on the portal and you get to vote, and then we close the vote and we see how many people voted for each thing. Simple little thing, but it just means that it doesn't matter whether you're watching on Facebook, on uh, on YouTube, on Twitch, or on Steam, or whatever platform you're watching on. You could, you could be watching on... Uh, it doesn't matter. You can vote, and your votes will count. We're thinking about also giving you a hellish point for voting and stuff. We'll see. Um, Brandon says, I hate having to log into every time of the website. Yes. I don't know... I, does that happen to me? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Hey, Robert. Welcome to the stream. Hey, Egg, DJ Egg. Welcome. There is, of course, the monthly giveaways happening right now. So uh, this is my 10th year creating content. As such, we've got a little extra bonus in the giveaways. So for this month, April... Uh, we have Sim Airport and a £10 Steam voucher. So you can go to portal.masterhellish.net to uh, be able to enter those giveaways. And we're going to do some other giveaways. Um, so there we go. And we can see down there in the corner, uh, if you enter the giveaway, there's a little pop-up as well. Uh, if it ain't broke, don't try and fix it. Yeah, well, I, I guess that, that, is a good, that is a good thing. Um, but like, if it ain't broke but could be better, then do you improve it? Uh, yeah, there you go. When you win Sim Airport, can you pass it on to somebody else? Um, I suppose it would be better to ju just not. Oh, <sighs> new viewer plus subscriber, fantastic. Okay, I've just noticed that uh, Streamlabs desktop is not outputting any desktop audio at all. Okay, so this is a issue with Streamlabs desktop. When your Windows sound devices change around, it doesn't pick up your sound preferences again. So you go into the advanced audio settings and you select the device and it's just a load of numbers and letters. It's just a hash because it's lost the sound device. Okay, so I've fixed that now. There we go. Let's see if that works. But thank you very much to our brand new Viewer Plus subscriber. Is that is that Jebulus? I, I, that looks like Jebulus to me. If it's not, please do correct me. But welcome to the team. That is fantastic to have your support. Um, how long have we got? Five minutes. Okay. I will quickly I, I will quickly share something with you. I try and be as open and as transparent as you uh, as I can be to you when I'm creating my content. And I've just done my tax return. And uh, in the interest of transparency um, for uh, master hellish content and so forth, uh, I can tell you that last financial year I made a small loss, just a, just a very tiny one. So for all intents and purposes, I'm going to call it break even. So last financial year was break even. We've got 64 viewer plus subscribers. So uh, if we want to be able to spend money on new equipment and new games and all that sort of thing, uh, ideally we want to up the number of subscribers. So it's absolutely fantastic that we've got those viewer plus subscribers keeping things going around here and um, pushing things on. And that is absolutely brilliant. But um you know if we want to do more if you want to see more if we want more content and all that sort of thing then jump on board uh consider getting viewer plus it is um it's it's on the website you can just go to masterlish.net and it's got some benefits it's got some benefits uh okay let's crack on uh okay the so that's the monthly giveaways let's spin the wheel and find out how many giveaways i will be doing tonight Okay, so we've got the big monthly giveaways, but we've got these smaller giveaways that we do. Um, tell all your friends. Yeah, no, no. I, I, more, most of my friends know I do this sort of thing. So uh, we're going to spin the wheel, and we're going to find out how many giveaways we're going to do tonight. And uh, the pollen in the UK has changed over the last week or so, and it's affecting me. Uh, I was speaking to the Viewer Plus subscribers, I think it was last Monday, and I was just not in a good state because of my allergies to the pollen. And we did a, a Factoria recording session and we recorded nothing because I just couldn't talk and stuff. Um, anyway, 
Uh, I've got some ice cream to help soothe my throat because my throat's become a bit sore. Um, my eyes became really watery, but I've I've given them a bath. Just the eyes. Hi, Max. Welcome. Um, you was watching on Twitch, but sadly you have um need to have a verified account to chat that. That is correct. It's to stop too many bad things from happening. You know, it's too bad that we have to do these things to stop people doing bad things. Um, yeah, I mean, if you don't want Twitch to know your phone number, that's fair enough. Come watch on YouTube. Uh, you can also watch on Steam if you wanted to, or Facebook. So you got your options. Um, and if you want to chat, I believe you can use the the uh, stream chat in Discord. So if you wanted to, you could watch on Twitch. And use the Discord channel to chat. I think it works. Uh, but it's not part of my system. That's part of Restream that we use to stream to all the different stuff. Right then. Let's get that wheel span. It should pop out in a second. Ah, there it is. Yeah. We're <laughs> There's DJ Egg chatting from... Um, Discord, I see your message. We don't have it pop up on the screen anymore. Two! There we go. There we go. So we're going to be doing two giveaways. Timman says only got 100% instead of 150% hellish points. Uh, Timman, you need to check your um, usernames. It should be fine. And also, it's not 150% anymore. It's double. Hellish points are now double for viewer plus subscribers. Isn't that fantastic, eh? Yes. If you have a problem getting hellish points and all that sort of stuff, um, uh, come over. Come over to the thingy. What do you call it? I don't know. What time is it now? And how long have I been streaming? And what day of the week is it? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so we, we might have had the first lot of hellish points going. So if a moderator could check that, that'd be great. Oh, you got 200% instead of 50, 150%. Yes. That, so it is working. Good. Checks our kid got yours. Brilliant. So, Hellish Points is working. Viewer Plus um, get double Hellish Points now at the moment, which is fantastic. We're going to be doing two giveaways in this live stream, which is brilliant. And in the last 23 seconds, I'm going to tell you about an event that's going to be happening very soon. Okay? So, in about three weeks' time... I'm going to be doing the champion charity. It was the charity championships for, the, and we're going to raise money for the uh, World Federation for Mental Health. We're going to be playing six free Steam games all together. The first one will be open TTD, and fifty pound is the prize if you win. There we go. I did that. Uh, the only thing I didn't tell you is what date it was on. Uh, <laughs> It starts from uh, 3 o'clock UTC, so that'll be 4 o'clock UK time on Saturday the 6th of May. So for all of you who are watching, not live, that are just skip forward for the gameplay, yes, the gameplay is starting, but Charity Championships are happening uh, on the 6th of May from 4 o'clock UK time. We've got pri 60, uh, sorry, £50 of Prizes. Okay, let's get Open TTD open and play Open TTD. If anybody's got any questions about hellish points, votes, or anything like that, then please do let me know. But we will address them as we're going now. Okay. Oh, there is actually another new feature, but it's only for the moderators, and that is an SOS button. I suppose we should talk about it potentially at some point. Um, let me get the game up and running now. We are in live stream 25, so the live streams were even, and now they're odd because we skipped a video because I got way too busy last week. Who is behind you? Nobody's behind me. Um, need to talk, talk about the game since some, some of the ones I've listed are um, limited amounts of players. Yes. So basically, um, only I think four of the six game slots are confirmed for the charity event. I was just watching some old spiffing, um, some old spiff. Uh, vids and decide to see what you're up to always forget that you're streaming on tuesday not always on tuesday but i i am planning on streaming a little bit more soon i think i often stop by that i'm really glad that you've come by thank you very much for popping by um 
the moderators can now play Among Us and press the emergency meeting button. <laughs> Well, whenever I'm live streaming, um, in the bottom corner of my left-hand stream sc screen is the mod channel on Discord. So, if anything's going on in the background, if there's any issues, yep, it's all down there. Okay, game's up and running. And we've covered everything. So remember, new features, loads of cool stuff, and a fantastic event. Oh, and there's also a vote as well, so watch social media and Discord for that. Yes, we've got a lot to get through. We've been very busy recently. Okay, so uh, what we need to do is just go over to... Uh, oh, and if you're watching on YouTube, the bitrate is back at 6k. I don't know why. I'll try and get it back to 20k for the next live stream. It's, I think it's something to do with restream, but we'll see. Um... Got an experiment to test. We're unsure if it works on a mo on PC. Water removal, place canary, bulldoze, landscape up. Cheaper to do a solid landfill, roughly. Okay, so if you do... Water removal. Place a canal there, bulldoze, and landscape up. Uh, I'll have to have a look at that. Can you post it in the Discord? Uh, hey, Hellish, hope you and the missus are doing well. A uh, bit... Late because you didn't get notification on YouTube. Oh my goodness. That's ridiculous. It is a big map. It's a big map. If you want to be able to play along with this map, you can do. You can go to masterhellish.net forward slash S10 and all the information about it is there. Hello, Gil Games. Welcome. So, Hellish City is nearly at 10,000 population. When it gets to 10,000 in population, it will start needing vehicles. Now, most of the other stuff is okay. We've got a few things that are a bit dodged, like the sodium hydroxide. <laughs> One of the moderators just did that at the same time I did it. Which moderator spammed that for me? <laughs> it might be that I pressed the thing to come on the screen and they pressed the one for the chat one. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, um, there we go. So we got we, got, we need to get to uh, vehicles at 10,000 and we're getting close to 10,000. Uh, we've got 41 million in the bank, which is absolutely stupendous. And th I, I think things are looking really good now. Things are really looking good. Like the operating profit recently... I mean, if you don't look at that last tick mark, uh, it was not so good. Need more sodium? Yes. Uh, I recently improved the sodium, so we're going to ignore that and work on the vehicles, and then we'll come back to more sodium in the future. So, for the assembly plant, uh, which... Did we name that? Yes, we did. We named it after a uh, Sabre. Uh, so we got the psychotic vehicles. Uh, is getting tyres in so far. And... We've got this whole little network round here that we're working on. And we've got to get uh, something into this body plant so that we can start producing vehicle bodies. Now, I'm pretty sure something comes out of this sheet and pipe mill and goes into the body plant. So we can actually get that process started with just one line. Uh, yeah, sheet steel. Okay, so we can get sheet steel out of there and in. And then I think there's actually something that comes from the wharf as well. Over at Two Bob Wharf. Uh, ye... uh, paints and coatings, I think. Anyway, that's not the point. Let's build it. Let's do this. So we're going to have to get a... Um, we're just going to build a load of track today and a load of stations because we need more trains. We need, we need a lot more trains. Like loads of trains. Oop, didn't mean to do that. We do need... I, yeah, well, what? Twitch notifications are rubbish as well. I think generally notifications are not doing that great. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. Uh, let's have it here. And this is a station where we are filling up, aren't we? So let's let's get a little bit of a different gap. Okay. Um, looks good to me. So I'm going to build a, a row row station here. Simple row row, medium throughput. We're going to put a double depot in and get rid of the forbidden better track. There we go. Now we do need to start that game giveaway, so I will do that quickly. So the giveaway that I'm, we're going to be doing, the first giveaway is for a game called Gravel. 
if you want to be part of the giveaway, head out to masterhellish.net and uh, follow, no, uh, head to um, portal.masterhellish.net. If you go to masterhellish.net, it will just take you to the main website, not to the portal, and that's two different things. The website is a, uh, is a CMS system, and the portal is something that I made because I'm a dev. I'm not an open TTD dev. Yeah. I need to eat this ice cream before it melts. Um... So what's this going to be? This is going to be, I think... Where's the body plant? There it is. Sheet steel out, right? Let's just me modify that now. Um, oh, steel sheet out. Yes. Yes. Steel. See, this is not easy. Like, when you're dyslexic and you are trying to do words whilst people are watching you, not easy. Other people are seeing their points go up. Okay, people are seeing their points go up. That's good. Okay, that's Stitch. Oh, that's out. Of course it's out. There we are. And then over here, this body plant is not in the best place. Uh, this town... Let's put a statue in before I forget, because I will probably forget. And let's do a drop-off station here. This music reminds me of Golden Axe, the Mega Drive game. Um, I think for this bit, we'll just do that. I'm not sure if there is a, uh, a track in that video game where it is extremely similar or something. People are entering the giveaway. How many people have entered that giveaway? We've got six people entered the giveaway for Gravel. I, I'm going to have to admit, I, uh, it's not a game I know about. <laughs> I am not familiar with the Gravel game. Um, however... Um, Speaking of games, one of the things I was supposed to tell you about, but then completely forgot, because I'm a genius, is that we are going to be having a vote. And the viewer plus subscribers have already had the opportunity to vote, because I posted it in the Discord. So if you are a new viewer plus subscriber, make sure you come over to the Discord, make sure that you... Um, Ask a moderator for the roles. You, can, I think you can, I think you can tag a moder the moderator group, um, and ask nicely for the roles. You'll be given a role, and you'll be able to see the vote. But the vote goes public on Thursday, and it the vote is highly likely going to affect what I do next. Not including Open TTD Season 10. It's like, apart from Open TTD Season 10, what we're going to do? Okay, I think. I think I want to come through here. But then that line's in the way, so we'll have to do that. Um, have, Brandon's been doing Factorio chain, trains. I do say that every time. I've got this thing in my mind where I connect certain music to certain things. Like when I hear... Here we go. Well, here we go. It's tangent time. So when I hear um, music by The Cause, like, uh, like their, their single Breathless and stuff like that, reminds me of Theme Hospital. And some Blink-182 music, or Blink-182, depends which part of the world you're from, um, reminds me of a PlayStation game called Vigilante 82. And 
there's a few other ones like that. So when I hear certain music, it reminds me of certain games. And when I see certain games, it reminds me of certain music. Uh, Feeder, uh, Just a Day, reminds me of Gran Turismo. Is it Just a Day? I think it's Just a Day. Hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Derail stream time. De oh, we should have a, a derailing GIF animation that people can do. There is a, uh, if you go to the portal and go to the point store, you can buy the uh, Open TTD Crash GIF. If you, if you choose to do so. Right, I think I'm going to use the fact that this track is higher up to my advantage so let's let's try not to scroll around the map too much because that's going to kill the frame uh the bit rate settings and stuff and i'm going to continue going under here and then when we get to there we'll tunnel i think that'll that'll do it perfect We'll use the natural fact that we've gone up there. Joe spent big on a train. Yeah, I will do another train one uh, later. Uh, Snowman, welcome. Glad to finally catch a stream. You, you've caught up with the series. Welcome to the series 10. You know what? Because we've already down here and we need to be down out here. I'm just going to dig through. I'm I'm really not bothered about digging little channels like that. It it's fine. Right, we've got to be relatively close now, I think. Or at least in the right ballpark. We are. Okay, so we need to get down to this area somehow. Oh, we are already at that level height. Okay. And Brandon says I spent all of mine on the farm office. You did, you did. If I think of any more music that reminds me of games of games and games that remind me of music, I'll let you know. Is it just me? Is that just a me thing, or do other people have the same thing? By the way, a side note on that, a footnote. Some of the music and game relationship is because the music was in the game, and some of the music game relationship is because I played the music while playing the game. Separately. <laughs> forced into it. Chat chat forced Brandon into purchasing that. Okay, we'll come through here. Whoa, steady. Uh, we'll go diagonally down a good bit. Uh, let's get rid of that. There we go. I, I've got a funny feeling that there's going to be a lot of track and a lot of trains today. That would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Oh, and we might have a slightly longer episode as well. A slightly longer live stream. Because you guys deserve it. After me doing, like, literally nothing last week. I sat on my... No, I didn't sit on my backside. I, I've been very busy at home. With other things. Oh, look at that. Connected up. Um, so I wasn't able to do that. Yep. Uh, there we go. So, let's just put all the signals down that line. Nice. Uh, I think we're going to need some depots on this line. We can use this section of track here for depots. It's a, it's a nice little wiggle where we can have like a natural depot wiggle. I like it when we get a natural depot wiggle like this. Makes me very happy about the... So I, I mean, I don't know if it's long enough for the depots. Yeah, it looks like it. The only problem with it is, is that you have to have a staggered... Yeah, that's right. It doesn't work like... There's, 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 some, there's some symmetry that's lost. Bonjour. Welcome to the stream. I'll allow bonjour, by the way, mods. <laughs> it's like, I, I, maybe hello will be like the only non-English thing we allow. What do you think, folks? We have this, we have this rule where you have to speak English, uh, for the purposes of my understanding, the moderator's understanding, and inclusion. Uh, but maybe we should allow hellos. 
I don't know. The Wasted One. I work railway in real life. Working trackside. They sound uh, a horn. Uh, you raise your arm to acknowledge them. <laughs> You've been trashed playing over TDD. When the trains in the game use their horns, are you raise your arm? <laughs> I like that. It was just like just a train pulling out of a station. Yeah, there's a train. It's just, it's just, just. <laughs> I like that. I love it. That's 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 uh, that's tickled my titter feathers. That has. Okay, so we've got some depots in. I kind of feel like more depots over here would be nice, but then we're cutting it right into the hill. Should we just leave that? We've got depots at each end and some... I suppose we could do some here. Once that... No, that industry's in the way. Tell you what, we're going to do some here quickly. Here we go. I like that. I, I did like that. There we go. Um, I, we're going to have to get rid of a bit more river. And a little bit of hillside as well to fit this in. Yeah, I'll do. That will do. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. I've been quite tired recently. And I, I'll tell you something, right? I, I can't remember when it was. I think it was roughly this time last year, actually, come to think of it. I had some sleep problems. And I was getting really tired, really bad necks, really bad backs, and I was really starting to struggle. It was affecting my work. Um, well, was it affecting my work? I, d I wasn't happy working because I just felt so terrible. Um, so it was just affecting me generally. And we need to take these bits of track out because we want four steppos off the main line. There we go. Because we don't want trains to just use that extra bit of track for no reason whatsoever. And um, the short story is, is that my bed was broken. And there's now a piece of wood under the mattress. And now I sleep fine. But the problem is, if that wood migrates from its p position. Because I, I toss and turn in my sleep a little bit. I, I'll go to sleep on one side. And I'll wake up the other side. And all that sort of stuff. If that wood's not in the right position, I have a bad night's sleep again. Over the last couple of nights, I've I that wood it was it must have moved by about that much. That's enough for me to have a bad back and not sleep properly. Which part uh, which part of the current map do you like working on the most? I must admit, I'm most enjoying the um, preservation lands, and uh, that it for me is a brilliant challenge. Lots of fun, and also great to do some cool stations. It's just a matter that it's just that the hellish city challenge, which I am also enjoying, is taking over quite a lot. Uh, let's let's just clone a train, shall we? Should we clone a train? No, we'll brand new vehicle, brand new vehicle, and we'll change the cargo type to uh, steel sheet. I always say it the other way around, don't I? Steel sheet. We'll buy and refit them. Need to screw it down, Brandon. I'm going to. It's, it's not actually on my to-do list. You know what? I, I'm not working tomorrow. I will screw my wood down on my bed. I will put it on my list tomorrow. Where's my list? Right, here we go. Scr screw wood on in bed. There we go. I'll, there we are. Sorted. Right, then, so what we need to do is get this vehicle to full load over here, come all the way down, and unload there. Uh, you don't have, don't have to do an unload, you don't have to force the unload because the station accepts it. And because of the length of the journey, I'm saying we're going to clone that train. Uh, we'll have it so there's five of them. Set them on their way. Um. Mm. Jonathan, welcome. Sorry, I think I um, I think I missed you there. Twenty hellish points. 
For Jebulus, congratulations on the start of your hash points journey. I did actually buy some wood today. For those of you who are viewer plus subscribers, I posted a picture of me in a hardware store in the wood aisle. Um, so yeah, I spent I spent um, just over eighty pound on wood today. Right then, ah, oh, my throat's starting to feel a bit better. So that's that bit. Now we did have a design for this, didn't I? And I can't remember where I put the design. Um. I'll tell you what, um, new subscribers, well, just want to check the number of viewer plus subscribers. Are we getting close to our target of 75? Okay, we've got, we've got 64 apparently. That's cool, that's cool. It is appreciated. We need to think of some sort of big celebration when we hit 75, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> it looks like the entire of chat has a filthy mind. Uh, okay, so stations are in. That's all good. You got a stack of viewer plus subscribers. I'm not quite sure what you've got. Uh, okay, we need um, stuff to come out this wharf to the body plant. We need to name the wharf. We should name the wharf after a viewer plus subscriber, shouldn't we? Um, okay, so the giveaway is going to end soon, okay? So we, the giveaway for Gravel is going to end soon. So if you want to take part in that giveaway, go to the portal and sort it out. Paints and coatings. Okay, right, let's do that. Paints and coatings. So to get paints and coatings out of this wharf, I'm going to have to build another, another platform... And it's going to have to be... Should I do a Terminus one? I want a row row. I could actually fit a row row there. That's a 3x8. That's fine. But it needs to be longer. So we need to come out into the water a little bit. There we go. We'll extend the station to there. Okay. This should work. Yep. Looks like some of the depot orientation is going to... Let's get the depot orientation correct. Uh, there we go. The depots are a little bit snug there, but it's fine. We're going to get the signals in where we want them. That's okay. What can you build with a stack of viewer plus subscribers? <laughs> what type of block is a viewer plus anyway? Oh no, let's let's not go down there. I'm getting all sort of confused already. No, I don't want a bridge. We have got lots of millions, so we can just build out over this water, it's fine. Uh, I'm going to have a diagonal from here. Lots of people are entering the giveaways, which is fantastic to see. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I've forgotten. Okay, that cost me half a million. Hopefully this is not going to cost as much. Yeah, our five grand. Um, there we are. Okay, so I've managed to get a station in at the back of the wharf here. If we need any more stations, we're going to have to either build it over here or build it over there. What, what are you guys talking about? I have no idea what's going on. Not a clue. Tell you what, though, we haven't got a depot on the exit, but that's fine. I'm sure we can survive. So we're going to be bringing something in here. Um, 
I guess we could actually connect it up to the same station and just have it lower down. Would that work? How far away is it allowed to be? Up to 12, wasn't it? No. This uh, iron ore mine's in the way. So it's going to have to be here. Oh, I didn't want it to be there. Never mind. Ah, what you know what we need? We need a counter for the number of times that I put the station the wrong way around. The problem is, is that it'll be way too many. You might be able to learn a thing about a thing or two about signal signaling. Hmm. Signaling is not too bad. Hang on a second, folks. There we go. We're back. We're back. Because it's 64 viewer plus subscribers. Oh, I see. No magic bulldozer. No, no, no. Oh, there is a new chart section. I completely forgot I built the chart section. Let me try and remember. So there's the chart section, there's the counters, there's the votes, there's the SOS, and other stuff should be fixed. So there we go. I, f I did forget about that chart section. Yes, so if you go to the, uh, the chart section of the portal, um, you will see uh, who has been subscribed to Viewer Plus the longest, as well as other things that are escaping my mind right now. There, there's a thread in the Viewer Plus Discord about the different updates to the portal and hellish tools. It's it's not. It's more of a development thread. It's it's not an information thread. There we go. Let's get some depots in. Get rid of the forbidden track. I guess we should put some depots in here too. Optional depots on the exit. Should probably get the depots the right way around. Do you, right, one of them... Brandon's like, dang, I'm only the fourth oldest viewer plus. Okay, right. There is a caveat to that, Brandon. And that is that, for those of you who don't know, there was a viewer plus, there was a time when you could become a lifetime viewer plus member. And Brandon is one of those people. And the way that it calculates viewer plus Lifetime Viewer Plus members is a little bit weird because for everybody else, it's just every month that you've been a Viewer Plus subscriber, you get one on the chart. TTD never gets old. You're right. It really does. Um, I don't know about... I think I'm just going to blast through this hill. Um, just because it seems like the best option. Like, diagonally comes straight down and is straight through this hill. Let's see how well we can do that. So we can do that there. That's not a problem. Just be really obtuse. Uh, and basically, the way that it works for life, the people that did get lifetime is it works out how many months it's been since they purchased Lifetime. Otherwise, the figure would probably be just like infinite and all the Lifetime people would just be at the top of the table automatically and that'd be no good. So people, there are people who have supported me longer than those people who have got Lifetime. And if and, and every now and then somebody comes along and they'll be like, oh, could you do a lifetime? And I have done it before, but I, I've, I've said bef I have said in the past why I'm not happy about doing it again. 
the short version of the story is is that I do not know what the future holds. And I would hate to do a lifetime subscription and then for some reason not be able to do any streaming or videos. And for those people who have paid that amount for lifetime to us to feel like it's just been completely wasted. Oh well, that is a different height altogether. Okay, uh, we'll have to cut that back a little bit then. There we go. I probably should have checked that height first, but I was I was talking about lifetime viewer plus. I know. <sighs> I mean, like, I just feel like even if I put a big, like, warning sign flashing, Viewer Plus could end any time for any reason. Some people would still buy it, and if it did end straight after when they purchased it, or within, like, a month or so, I would feel terrible. I'm, I'm too nice of a person for that. All right, let's catch up on the chat. Uh, just watching your track go down there. Yes, track's all good. You always raise the ground. I, I mean, I like to raise the ground sometimes. It's nice to have elevated track. Yeah, maybe we'll do a bit more of that later in the uh, later in this. Uh, Gamer Club says, this is this uh, this Let's Play is my first doing Furs. It's made the game uh, much more interesting. Yeah, I, I really do think Furs just, like, makes vanilla open TTD much more interested. And one of the brilliant things about Furs is it doesn't, doesn't break the game. In my opinion. Yeah, elevated track is good. Um, here we have an objective to complete. So um, that's why we're just smashing through everything. <laughs> just smash through. Uh, okay, so here we are going to be getting uh, paints and coatings out. And I'm going to end that first giveaway. Uh, I'm just going to give you like a minute or two, right? L literally, literally, just a minute or two. And then I will definitely end it, probably. Okay, paints and coatings, paints and coatings. Paints and coatings in an oil tanker. Uh, if this is an oil tanker, then I feel like this, uh, we should have the liquid station from ISR. ISR is another one of those mods where it doesn't break the original game and it adds something nice to it. So that's a water pumping station. Um, let's just drag over the top and we can like, they are paints and coatings in the tanks. Um, we can even mix, mix and match a little bit. Like we can start off with just like standard stuff here and then like have the tanks in the middle. There we go. I like that. Okay, so full load here. Come down this. Whoa! <laughs> Just zoom off the edge of the map. Come down this line and unload there. Brilliant. Uh, it's quite a long line. I'm being optimistic. Let's have six. There we go. Uh, in Yeah, ISR is a good one. Chip stations. Oh, I, it's that one I need to add to my list of things that I need to check out. Let's have a look. Where's my my master hellish list of lists? Um, open TTD. Oh, go. Cool. Yeah, I'll put it on just in case it's not. I'll have a look at that at some point. Right, and the giveaway winner is fantastic. Rabbit twenty six. Congratulations to you. You have won gravel. Or whatever it is. I have no idea. Oh, there's some love for chip stations there. Nice. Uh, remember, the monthly giveaways are still up and available. Okay, so the, um, now we've got some stations here. We'll get rid of this body plant sign. Um, we, I'll, I'll tell you what. Shall I rename some of these stations in between episodes? Would you, would you guys prefer that? Tell you what. Let's do a vote. Rename... Between ep episodes, I don't know if it's spelt right, but you know what? 
I don't think you, it needs to be. We're going to have a yes or a no. Okay, in theory, there should be a poll up. So if you go to the portal, you'll be asked the question and you can click on the button. And then when I end the poll, which I'll do in a minute or so, I'll be able to see what uh, what the voting is. And there's even a notification. Fantastic. You considered trying furs? Don't know if it's compatible with TT Deluxe. Um, oh, is that Sp Spiff's version? As far as I'm aware, Spiff's fork should be... Um, I don't know. I'd need to check. Now, is it? It's not Spiff's version, is it? That was called something else. I don't, T just reminded me of Spiff. Uh, okay. Um, so that's those two connected up. I can see votes coming in. So the voting appears to be working. Tinman says, I love the abstain option. Yeah. Like... I wanted to. I wanted the voting system to force you to do something, but I also didn't want to force people to vote. Like, like I wanted you to see it. I wanted it to be there, right in front of your face, at the top of the screen. But I also wanted people to just get rid of it. Oh, as the tea industries. Yeah, I remember we 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 did we had a conversation about that in Spiff's Discord, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we did. I remember I remember something being spoken about. Okay, I'm missing some sort of connection here, I'm sure of it. Is it to do with the component factory? Oh, where, did I do a design for this? Did I did I save it to a folder? Oh, what did I do? I can't remember where I saved it. No idea at all. No, I'm just looking in the OpenTTD chat and there's just so much chat. If you want to chat about OpenTTD, that is, it's a place you can go. Um... Oh, I don't know. I might have to have a look back at some of my old videos. I I'm not. I'm not seeing it. Maybe if one of my moderators knows where it is, uh, but I, I certainly do not know where that is. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Um. The improved town industry set adds moving passengers within an industry's town in order to get population. Okay, that's an interesting one. Uh, let's uh, end the vote now and find out what the results were. Fantastic. Uh, no. Oh, God, it's close. Look at that. Oh, and the abstain votes come through. Hmm. I didn't consider that. So two people abstained. Uh, that's very 50-50, wasn't it? Wharf to car parts, was it? Yeah, I've, I've completely forgotten which bits go where. But I tell you what we do need. We do need a body plant outline. And I'm pretty sure we're going to go through this hill and up this side. Because I remember talking about that last time. Like here. So, let's get the station in. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a squeeze, but I think I'm going to put it in. Uh, let's get the corner of it in. So, this is the output station. So, that's nine. Local authority refuses to allow it. Huffingly... Oh, I'm so glad we used the vote feature. That's so cute, isn't it? And, and it nearly completely worked first time. Do you reckon 40 mil is enough to get vehicles to Hellish City? I mean, we've already got v potential vehicles going to Hellish City, so it's just a matter of getting more. Yeah, the bigger depots mod makes it so it looks longer, yeah. So, we've got the de bigger depots mod on here, so if you... It is uh, a full square, 
so that you can actually tile it and make it look longer. Or, and here's another or, you can uh, mix it with the ISR stuff. The only problem is with an ISR like uh, fixture or something. So you could actually, you could put like an office or something in front of it and it, you could use that like a waypoint to, before you go into the station, uh, before you go into the depot. But then like behind it, I'm sure there's some buildings. There it is, train shed. Oh, I forgot to, hang on a second. Uh, I was need to merge with east. There you go. So then we've got like a train shed tile and it changes as well. Um, and you can do like several of them too. So it looks like a proper train shed. So ISR has you covered if you want to do that. But again, you, it has to be part of a thing. Anyway. Hey, how am I doing? I'm doing pretty good. I've had my ice cream because I've got a bit of a sore throat, but I'm okay now. Um, yeah, pa patched uh, J uh, J JGR patch. I think has not. It's not two-way depots. It's drive-through depots, isn't it? Um, right. Okay. So hopefully this town doesn't hate me now. Yep, they think I'm good after all the tree placement. Oh, what are the chances that that voting system just, like, worked? I love that. I tooted my own horn a little bit, I suppose. <laughs> well, I made that... I think I made that Monday morning. I asked some of the Viewer Plus subscribers to try and test it a little bit. And we, we did a little bit of testing. But you never know how it's going to work in a... Compared to a... Uh, in a live stream compared to normal. Okay, so I can put it there. Okay, let's do that. And then that's going to give me room to expand if I want to. I know it's not long enough. Um, I like to get a station down before I start digging into the hillside. So how long is that? That's nine. So we just need another three. What? They refuse to allow it. The local authority think I'm pawling again. I'm wearing the appropriate t-shirt for that tonight. I am wearing the old version of the Trees, Trees, Trees t-shirt. And the new version is actually on the store. So if you want to go and have a look at my t-shirts and other merch, uh, go to... Oh, that's broken. <laughs> what on earth happened there? Well, are, are all the pop-ups broken? So if I say... Sub to Master Hellish. What was that going to come up like normal or? I think I changed some CSS somewhere. Oh no, that's working fine. It's just the T-shirt one's broken. Never mind. T-shirt one's broken, but everything else is fine. Get your magnifier. Go to, go to the website. Go to. I should be able to do like put a, a thing in chat. Uh, the sound alert, it's rocket science, is spelt wrong on the website. Science doesn't have an A in it. You know what? I, I think I might leave it like that. <laughs> have you found a favourite station design? Um, it depends on what I'm doing. Like, if I'm doing, like, relatively low throughput stuff, I'll just plop these stations down. I've got some other ones as well. Right, so, uh, does the, I can't remember if the town, yeah, the town still hates me. All right. Let's sort that out. Um, they think I'm very poor now. Medium. That'll do. They will let me build a station at medium. There we go. So I think what we'll do is we'll do a similar thing here. Where we go directly from there. And just cut through the landscape we'll dig a trench and then ooh, yeah that's fine it's not exactly what I meant to do uh, 
And there we go. And we've come out on the other side of the hill. Discover Master Hellish merch at store.masterhellish.net. Yes. All these websites and addresses, eh? See, that's another thing. I have to pay for that website. I have to pay for the hosting of the website, and I have to pay for the domain name. And that is all made possible by viewer plus subscribers and fantastic donations. So there we go. Hey, Jeremy. Welcome. The vote has already ended. Yes. The vote has already... The vote will only show while the vote is in progress. Um, there we go. I might actually cut this back a bit so we can have a bit more of a gentle... There we go. Votes will pop up at the top of, I believe, any portal page? I'm saying it like that because I don't actually know. I, I'm, will it? It's connected to the menu, I think. Like, wherever there's a menu, a vote should show. I'll have to check. Right. So, we've got the station coming out to where we wanted it to. It just shows below the... Oh, above the menu. Yes. Sorry. I am... You know what? I'm going to have a quick look at the code. Because I'm not going to say the wrong thing. It might be that the menu calls a check for the vote. And it does that before displaying the menu. That that makes sense to me. It does. I don't know why I'm checking. Right, let's have a look. No, it's, it's loading. The problem is my hard drive's going to sleep. Um, are we going to cut through that bit of hillside? If we cut through this hillside... Oh yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay, so... Um, if I go to the portal menu... Yeah, there is... Right at the beginning of the portal menu script, there is a handle votes... Uh, there's a call to handle votes, and handle votes are in the vote module. So the menu module calls that the calls the vote module straight away. So it's before the menu. That makes sense. That makes sense. I did something that made sense. Yay! Go me. Um. That's a bit weird. Why are we down here? Oh. Can't remember where we go. Oh, we're going up here, aren't we? Yeah. This is a long way to go. Mm. This is a long way to make a train line. So this, we're coming out a little bit to get around this infrastructure because there's going to be more lines. Oh my goodness. I've got to get through here. Wow. Maybe I should go through there. Just a scenic route. It's not that much of a scenic route. It's not that much of a scenic route. Okay, well. Let's start the next giveaway, shall we? So this giveaway is for a game called Wrench. If you would like to be within a chance of winning that game, then please go to the website, masterhellish.net. Uh, sorry, portal.masterhellish.net and have a look. I am going to leave a little bit of a gap.
And we've got one that... Oh. Mm, I don't know. Oh, I've done it four. Why is this a four track station? Okay, fine. We're doing four track now on this end. It's happening. Here we go. Imagine if I like played open TTD for a week. Like, I'm sure my eye would be twitching by the end of that. Lots of single word games today. Looks like a game someone would enjoy if they like car mechanics. That reminds me, on my list of games I still need to test is Car Mechanic Simulator uh, 2018. Recently, I went back into old school RuneScape. Uh, RuneScape was the first MMO I ever played. And you know how you go into different worlds? I played RuneScape when there was just one world. Like, there wasn't a concept of worlds. You just went into RuneScape. Um, and I went in and I did the tutorial for nostalgia's sake. And then I left. <laughs> I also installed um, World of Warcraft because I wanted to see what happened to all my characters. Because back in the day, and that's actually where... I'm, I'm sure quite a few people know this, but not everybody does. That's where Master Hellish comes from. Like, Hellish, and by extension, therefore, Master Hellish was the name of my World of my first main World of Warcraft character. And that's where it came from. And it stuck. Um, he was an undead priest. There we go. But yes, I went in to see if my characters were all still there. And all the ones from my original playthrough of World of Warcraft are still there. And also all the ones from... Oh, oh, I wiggled the wrong way. And all the ones from when me and some of the viewers went and started playing some World of Warcraft for a little while. Uh, there's that characters, Those characters are still there as well. There we are. We've, we've wiggled the right way. I mean, RuneScape, the game itself, I think is absolutely fantastic. There's a lot of good things about it. The biggest downside with RuneScape was the community in the end of it. Um, for me, the community ruined it. Like, the the people that were on there, uh, the way that interact poor interactions were managed, because not every interaction in RuneScape was bad. Just trying to figure out, like, how much I can get around here without, like, completely destroying everything. But, you know, with it being one of the first, like, MMOs, like, people, like, game makers had no real sense of what to do about this sort of stuff. Like, you could type your password into chat. Maybe you still can now. I don't know. Um, but you could do those things. And, yeah. I mean, that was one of the scams, wasn't it, that uh, was going around where you would say, hey, look, if you do this and that, then it doesn't show your password. And then you just type a load of stars and then people start typing their passwords in chat, get their account stolen. Um, yeah, there was a lot of that sort of stuff. Um, lots of people don't like dying in PvP when they are in a PvP area. Same thing happens in EVE. Yeah, there are some, there's some, there's always going to be some people that play a game and they're going to be like, oh, you killed me. Why did you do that? And I was like, well, it's a PvP area and you're the enemy. Gonna shoot. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> things are gonna go boom. Um... I mean, I what's one of the reasons why I love Eve is it's just so unforgiving like that. Yeah, the classic star, star, star scam, yeah. Luggy, welcome to the stream. For anybody who uh, didn't join... Uh, didn't, uh, for anybody who wasn't here at the beginning, I'll quickly go through a, a couple of things very quickly. There's been a lot of changes to Hellish Tools. Any questions, ask in the Discord or in the chat. Basically, we've got counters and votes now. The mods have got an SOS button. New viewer plus subscriber. 
fantastic. There we go, I fixed the audio. Viewer plus subscriber, welcome, brand new subscriber, Wasted. Another brand new subscriber. Thank you very much, Wasted, for being a Viewer Plus subscriber. Uh, we are now only 10 away from that golden 75 target, and your support really does matter. So thank you very much. Thank you for supporting me and my content. Um, oh, God. <laughs> Great to see more subs. It is, isn't it, Joe? It's fantastic that the community uh, that is supporting the channel is growing as well, which... Uh, hopefully for this year means fantastic things. Um, so yeah, we got an, and the the big event. Uh, we've got the big event coming up in uh, about three months. So keep an eye out for that. I believe it's already listed as a live stream on YouTube and yeah, an event on my Facebook and on the Discord. So we've got a fantastic stuff happening there, and there is a vote coming up as well. So keep an eye on social media and Discord. So there we go. <laughs> um. Now we have, yeah, we're going to get all these backers in. Um, love the content and the passion you have for OPTG. Well, thank you very much. Well worth support. I'm, if you think it's worth it, then that's even the more the better, isn't it, eh? <laughs> I, I am a person, yes. I am, I'm, I'm a real boy. Um, <laughs> I am a real person, yes. Okay, looks like I need to start thinking about the diagonal and where we're going to put it. I think it's going to go, like, past... Flaston. Yes, there we go. You need not not reactionist. I th I think I know what you mean. Yeah, not reactionist. I I uh, that we we have some crazy moments. I just yeah I just try it. I'm I'm me. When I stream, I'm me. At times, I might be a more... Uh, I'm trying to think of the right word, because wordiness. Elevated version of me? Elevated's the wrong word. Slightly exaggerated? Potentially version of me? Still me. Still a part of me. Still... There we go. We're going to have a raised section. There we go. I mean, you can't see that it's raised because of the angle of the camera. And we can't rotate the camera because open TTD. Um, we've, got to be, we've got to be close there. Yeah, we are. We're getting close. What is that? What is my phone doing? My phone is not happy because... Oh, hang on. Uh, I just got a message from Spiff. I think. Just check which channel this is on. Oh yeah, I did. Oh, I don't think I'm allowed to say any of this. Um, I'm sorry I'm ignoring you folks. Um, I, I'm not going to completely ignore you. Did I say something out loud whilst reading this? A hyped version. I'm not sure if hype version is the right way of saying it, Gil. I, w I will speak to you very shortly, folks. I, I apologise immensely. Right. Um, let's go back a little bit. Um, 
Okay, yep, 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 got that message. Can you imagine a mod for uh, TTD for track maintenance? Uh, that's in the game. Like, if you go to settings and maintenance, I think. It's called infrastructure maintenance. And that is for tracks, buildings, signals. Uh, my Open TTD Series 6 Let's Play and Play Along is, uh, has that turned on. And it is absolutely crazy. It's ridiculous. Shall I just uh, just say to Spiff, do you mind? I'm trying to stream. <laughs> there we go. I've actually had a really good idea as well. Uh, I shared it with Spiff, but I sent it via Discord, so I don't know if he's seen it. So we'll have to see if something comes of that. Maintenance is a killer. Yeah, if you if you're playing Open TTD and you're going, "Wow, this is too easy." This I want to play exactly the same game, but I want it to be more difficult. Maintenance. Do it. Love to see his reaction. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Oh, it was. Uh... Uh, okay. I got another message, but it wasn't from Spiff. It was from Rocket, uh, friend, friend of friend of the community, I believe. Rocket has uh, hosted the last mini LAN party that we did. So if, for those of you who saw me playing Farming Sim and... Oh, what was that game? Uh, we, we played Team Fortress 2, Farming Simulator. I think we did a bit of Crossout. We did Age of Empires and um, Valheim. Uh, that live stream was from Rocket. Rocket's... Um, place okay so we've got signals going all the way out the back here all the way this is a terribly long line i still haven't finished it yet and it looks like it's just going to crash into this it'd be great if we could go through the middle oh look we can't go through the middle never mind and that was where um i think that was jackamac that came along to that particular LAN party. The la New viewer plus subscriber. subscriber. Fantastic. Fantastic. Is that four? New viewer plus subs in one live stream. <laughs> it looks like that's the case. Oh, wow. Um, is that... Hina? Hina? Please do correct me if I got that wrong. Hinia. I don't know what sort of inflection that should have, if any. But uh, thank you very much for your support. Uh, that is absolutely fantastic to have another person coming in, getting double hellish points, all the benefits that are on the website, all that sort of brilliance. So thank you very much. Uh, I can't actually remember what happens when a moderator hits the SOS button. So whilst we're here at this point, and I'm thinking that... Can somebody do it now? Let's see how long it takes a moderator to go, you're on the wrong screen, hellish SOS. Boom. So, um, for the viewers... Um, <laughs> well, that worked. <laughs> that is such a silly SOS thing. <laughs> It also has the moderator's name there at the bottom. Oh, uh oh, something went wrong. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Um, have you given ever given yourself or played with the challenge of only diagonal tracks? No, but diagonal tracks give you more money. Ah, it's complicated. I explained it in my video. Ten things I did wrong. I do wrong in Open TTD. So go check it out. It is a little bit loud. Yeah, it worked, but it was a little bit loud. Um, maybe we need to get, like, me next to a chalkboard holding a paintbrush with a doll or something. I can't remember what it is. We need, we need a graphic instead of the screen. Yes, we do. Basically, if I forget to switch screens, then that can be used. Where are we? Oh, there we are. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. Uh, is that elevated? Is not elevated. Okay, okay. 
that was an SOS test, folks. It was not a real SOS. Don't need to worry about it. Um, I don't know how, I don't know how public this thing that Spiff's on about is. I wish I, I wish I knew, because I would love to share it with you. Uh, right, we're going to have a kind of a height change around here. Shouldn't be a problem. But I kind of want the two pieces of track to be at least, yeah, that should do it. That will do it. So we'll go down there. And then we'll go across for 12. And then across for another 12. And then I'll realize that I've done the land slightly wrong. But nobody's going to notice, right? It's not like anybody's watching me. I need to sneeze. Thank you very much for my mute button. <laughs> That's a good mute button, that is. Okay. Oh, no. Not okay. Haven't finished yet. All right, there we go. I think this ridiculous piece of track is in. It is ridiculous. There we go. Whoa, steady. Okay. Okay. Oh dear. Yeah, I'll get a graphic put um, put in on that uh, on that screen, and I'll see if I can get the uh, the beep quieter. The BBC error screen in Viewer Plus chat. Let's have a look. You know what I should do? I should go onto Fiverr and just go to somebody and say, "Can you make this, but instead of a girl and a whiteboard?" It's me and a computer screen of OpenTTD. And just do it like in a cartoon style. <laughs> That'd be great, wouldn't it? Um, you got Factorio because of me streaming. Yeah, Factorio's good. Factorio, I have been really enjoying Factorio. And now you're a Viewer Plus subscriber, you could join in on those recording sessions if you wanted to. Okay, we're going to need uh, depots. Do you want me to do the depots now or later? Let's do a little vote. Now, uh, what? Um, I can't remember how to spell depots. Train depots. I've got to get it at least close, haven't I? So that people know what I'm talking about. And I can say now. Later. There we go. And vote has started. You can go to the portal to do the vote. So now we don't have to have people yelling in chat and me counting on my fingers. Which I suppose is all well and good, eh? Uh, let's get the trains in, though. We've got depots at each end. So we can do a new vehicle. Get the train in. We are shifting vehicle bodies. Okay, nice. Vehicle bodies. Or we will be shifting vehicle bodies. Here we go. 12 length on that. Um, oh, orders. Full load there, go all the way down that massive, horrendous, hideous line, and go there. Whenever I do votes, people are often, well, not whenever, but regularly people are split. Um, curious to see if we'll see the game on pause. Yeah, I will, I will, does not, does not appear, what? If, if you're in the portal, you need to refresh it. Yes, you do. That's right. If you're already on the portal page, you do need to refresh your page for that to come up. 
The stream is almost over. A new, no new line in. Oh, the stream is not almost over. We're going. We're having an extra long stream tonight because I left you all without content last week. I was busy. Um, and we've we, we've got one, two, three new lines in. Um, so that's not too bad, right? Although this one hasn't got any depots. Um, so we'll have a look at the depots poll in a minute. And we're going to end that giveaway soon. So the giveaway for Wrench is going to be um, sent out quite soon. Uh... Oh, Spiff meshes me. <laughs> I've got to stop responding to DMs and stream, haven't I? New viewer plus subscriber. Fantastic. Uh, what? Oh, Esme has resub for 17 months in a row. Thank you very much, Esme. Okay, let's get rid of that. I I don't think Spiff saw my DMs on Discord. I'm pretty sure Spiff doesn't doesn't respond to Discord DMs. Um, so yes. Oh, there we go. So there's a game giveaway ending soon. We've done two. Um, this is our second giveaway. We've done three lines. We've got loads of trains all ready and rolling. Uh, we're gonna unpause the game for a little while. I think. Um, it is 1950. So the next videos you get from me will be looking at your 1950 saves. If you're playing along, and remember, you can go to um, masterhellish.net forward slash S10. Um, if you are playing along, then you can... Um, you, you can't submit your 1950 saves. You can't submit them. It's too late. It's too late. And I think I pressed that button twice. Um... So we've got trains loading and unloading here and cycling. Let's let's let these trains out. Here we go. Some of the grass is going to start changing colours. I don't know. My phone's not going crazy today. There we go. Um, painting paths of flowers. Uh, I, I, why would you do that, Brandon? Oh, patches of flowers. Um, I wouldn't expect that to be too difficult to do. There's not a lot going on over there. I mean, there's just generally not a lot going on over here because things are actually starting to get moving. 9% of the sheet steel, though. We are starting to load up on that already. Wire rod out. We're up to 26% on the building up of that. Uh, tires out is still zero. And vehicles out is still zero as well. I think a lot of this operating profit not going up much is the amount of trains that we've just got sat waiting around for other things. Um, but these, these are at 9% from the wharf. Wharf has only got pipe supplied, so it'd be better if we managed to get something else supplied. Does the wharf get anything supplied from the component factory? I don't think it does. No, because that's just vehicle parts that just goes out from there. Cement. Maybe we could send cement. Oh, sodium hydroxide. Not sodium hydroxide again. Let's go over to Hellish City and see what's going on. Bit more. Oh, we're over 10,000 now. We're at 10,000 in population and we require vehicles. Or we will do once the game ticks over into the end of the month, which is happening now. And there we go. The town is missing vehicles. It's also missing some ho sodium hydroxide as well. We've got 15 units in storage. Not great. 
Um, so, yeah, growth has stalled a little bit, but oh well. You only need to supply a little sodium to that wharf to make it gung ho. Um, that is true, Tinman. I don't need to supply a massive amount of stuff. Is Cloverleaf an effective type of throughput junction? If not, which one do you recommend for a four way? Uh, if the clover leaf is big enough, yes, I would say it is relatively effective. However, if you have high throughput lines, I would highly recommend having dedicated lines for each thing going each way anyway. It depends what sort of network you're building. If you're building this sort of network, where you are moving that from here to there, and this from there to here, then you want dedicated lines doing everything, and then have the lines cross over with bridges and tunnels and so forth. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Guild Games look cloverleaf is pretty terrible. Uh, yeah, you, you need a big clover leaf. And the thing is with the clover leaf is you, it's a four way junction, and there are other junctions that are a lot better. Like so, if it's low throughput, and your clover leaf is big enough, yes. But if you get into high throughput, then it's completely different. Uh, Raf says I'm a few years late in the packs. Uh, Um, but you got the sentimental feelings recently to open TTD uh, Windows ninety five machine. Oh wow! Yes, open TTD. Yeah, you know, get get into it. It's all good. It's good for length two trains. That's another thing. The length of your trains. Uh, where can I see the setting of how many percent? Where can I? S Okay, so the the trains just show that. Um, you can hide and show it in the transparency options. You can get to the transparency options. Uh, um, uh, my brain's broken. I can't remember. Is it just in the cogs? Transparency options. Or you can, pre can press control X. And it'll pop up the transparency options. Um, I'm though come to think, yeah, they are. So transparency for loading indicators. That's what you're looking for. It's not in landscape. Yes, if you've got small trains on a low capacity network and cloverleaf is big enough, you'll be fine. Right then, um, what was I doing? Oh, yes. Okay, so all of these industries, we need to, like, up the amount of stuff that they've got. Um, we need... It says, for enhanced production for this wharf, uh, deliver 129 units of cargo at least once every three months. So we just need to deliver cargo to get gung-ho, and it doesn't matter which cargo we deliver. Ooh, which of these would be the easiest to do? Um, yeah, interesting. I don't know. Did I say I was going to um, end the giveaway soon? <laughs> cargo space? No, cargo road. <laughs> Okay, well, the, the giveaway is ending soon. I am already doing pipes, but I, my pipe production is not very good. Um, to get better pipe production, I would have to supply carbon steel and acid to this pipe mill. Sodium hydroxide is not too bad. I can create it if I can get enough salt. We want to get 640 units. Steel sections or cement? Hang on a minute. The steel sections coming from down here, aren't they? Yes, so we, we're already delivering steel sections and pipe. 
And I don't want to rely on that feedback loop for those. So it's cement or sodium hydroxide. Brandon says, if a train crashes into another one, is that one crash or two? That is one crash. Otherwise, the train wouldn't have crashed. You can't have a one train crash. Okay. So it's trains minus one, I would say. Like if three trains crash, that's two crashes. Okay, let's do the other things then. So we know how we know how sodium hydroxide's done. Um, uh, let's have a look at cement. Industry chains and cement. It's from a slag grinding plant. And then you need slag from a blast furnace, oxygen furnace, or an electric arc furnace. Which comes from... Oh, no. This, this is way... Yeah, sodium hydroxide is just so much better. So we're going to have to have some other sodium hydroxide plant being delivered. We could deliver it by water. We could put the plant over here and have like a ferry that comes over with the sodium hydroxide. A single train crash is called a dere derailment. You know what, Brandon? I th oh, no, we got more than one Brandon. <laughs> it's fine. Um, you, you're, you're not wrong. Um, a road vehicle is one train crash. Yeah, but the train doesn't crash. The train just smashes the road vehicle to pieces. There's no other thing there. Okay, let's... Oh! No fund in industry. I did say I was going to no fund industries, didn't I? Oh! Bubbles? Your old nickname. Oh, dear. It still crashed into it, that's true. No, I didn't hear about the train crash in the Netherlands. Okay, let's find a sodium hydroxide making plant. We've already got one over here, but we're not going to nick the sodium hydroxide. Wow, is that me or is that scrolling so much better? I mean, it's going to kill the bit rate of the video, but... Um, oh, down here at Tim's old salt plant? Uh, what? Oh, it's... It's that one that I can never pronounce. It's the Chuck. Chocolate plant. What? I don't know. Okay, let's find out if there's one nearby. Map of the world. Industries. Remove town names. Disable everything. Turn on that plant. Okay. So they're in yellow. Or they're actually they're in, they're in white at the moment and they're flashing. So there's one over here. One over here, one over here. Let's do a drawing with Hellish. New viewer plus subscriber. Fantastic. There's Fed resubscribing. Thank you very much for your support. Okay, this looks a bit weird. Okay, where's my cursor gone? Uh, pen custom okay here we go so there's one plant over here there's one plant over here and there's one plant down here i need to get it there so either we come from this direction this direction which is going to be difficult to get around all the trains or this direction now i want to have a look at the topography of the land uh, oh you can see so, this one would be easy, but the train lines are all in the way. This one's not too bad. We could actually probably just follow the coastline and then just ship it over. And the one that's over here, we'd have to go over some hills. So, we'll do a vote. A, over the hills. 
and then across the water. B, down the coastline and then across the water. Or C, something absolutely ridiculous about going under the train line and through around it there, there, but it's a short distance and it's in all the different train lines. I'm going to do a vote. Um, and... I'm going to do a proper vote. Don't don't shout out in chat. Shouting out in chat will not get it sorted. A, B, or C on the hellish portal. Vote now. Don't shout out in chat. You, you're not going to get counted. The vote is open on the hellish portal. <sighs> I'll leave this on the screen for just a minute and we'll go back to open TTD then. Right, how are we getting on? How are we getting on with the votes? The votes are coming in. Looks like the votes are coming in. Let's refresh that. Oh, I didn't end the depot's vote. Okay, I'm ending the depot vote. And the depot vote, uh, people say, do depots Fantastic. now. Fantastic. So I will do them before the end of the stream. Uh, let's go back into Open TTD. And before we go in, let's go and do a couple of dates. Any salt mines close? That is a fantastic question. Let's have a look. So there's the three on the screen. You should be able to see it. Let's just highlight this. Oh. Salt, salt comes from soda ash and something else, I think. Hang on a second. Select cargo. Salt. I need to refresh my potash and soda ash. So there's the soda ash mines. So this one's got a couple near it. That one's got a one near it, maybe another two. This one at the top has got a couple, but they're far away. That's the soda ash. Where's the potash? Uh, okay, so there's a potash mine near this one. Not really any potash mine up there. And there's a there's a couple of potash mines, or at least one close, and then maybe two others over here. So there we go. So let's have a look at uh, the vote. I don't want to leave it going too long, so I will um, put up the thing on the screen. And end the vote. And the winner is... Fantastic. Uh, B. Uh, people want it to go down, a clo uh, down the uh, coastline and across the water. So there we go. That is what I am going to do. And we'll end the giveaway. Uh, the giveaway for Wrench, the winner is... Fantastic. Buzzard95. Congratulations, Buzzard. The game code for that has been sent to you via the emails. Keep an eye out on your spam folder. My emails end up there sometime. Uh, okay, so I guess we're going along the coastline. Which is this one over here, I think. Where are your wire and section mill and your sheet and pipe mill? There, there are mills down here. Look, there's the sheet out. There's the cleaning and sections and so forth. No worries, Buzzard. I hope you enjoy the game. Maybe you could come onto the Discord and send us a screenshot and tell us what you think of the game. Uh, trains. Okay, let's get let's get a a station to pick up this stuff. I can't remember what we're picking up. Sodium hydroxide, yes. <laughs> the the dreaded sodium hydroxide. Uh, I'm going to do four. Uh, four tracks. There we go.
There we go. Nice, simple, easy four track station. Not that. I want to get rid of the forbidden bit of track, not the other piece. There we go. So this is going to come along the coastline here. Probably needs to go one step back. And then we'll go down and diagonal over to here. And then we'll transfer it to ship, I think. I'm pretty sure we can transfer it to ship. And there we go. They need acid. They do need acid. If you want a flowing supply, make your train shorter. That is an interesting thing, Gil. Uh, might do that. I'm... Whoa, steady. So, I think what we'll do is we'll just have, like... A station right at the end of the line here. Uh, we'll have a train drop off. Yeah, let's do it like this. We're going to do a pretty simple bit like that. Put a wiggle in. Signals on the end of the platforms as normal. And then this is where I try and transfer it to boat and it doesn't work and the whole plan falls apart like a biscuit raft. There we go, we're going along that coastline and then we'll go across. So then I have to actually put a dock in, which I haven't done for a little while. There we go. What do you mean sign suitable? You're unsuitable. There we go. That dock will accept what we need. And then over here... Is that too far away? Okay. Over here, we're going to, like, dig into the land a little bit to create our own dockyards and stuff. So I will put the dock here. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, the site's unsuitable because... Oh, was we on fast forward before? It was for a little while. There we go. Um, well, hang on a minute. Move into a new house next week. Oh, my goodness. Good luck with that. Ah, I put the dock in as a different thing. It's been uh, about six years since I last moved house. And I do not want to have to do it anytime soon again. There we go. Whoa. That mouse cursor loves to go crazy. Uh, we'll have a, another depot in the middle. Okay, so they're going to be brought by train and go across the dock area there. But before they go by ship, we have to get trains in. And before we get trains in, we need to find uh, a source of salt. So let's move our camera. So, there are no potash mines around. This is like the worst one you guys could have chosen. Why do you do this to me, okay? Why do you do this to me? Right, th this one over here, it has um, two soda ash mines nearby and a potash mine nearby. This one has one of each. This one, nothing. Uh, although we do have some soda ash over here. Okay, it's not that far away. Okay, it's not that far away. I'll let you guys off. I'll let you off. And Timman's like, I said A. Hey. <laughs> you can't blame me. I said A, hey, he says. <laughs> Let's... Oof. I don't know whether to do shorter trains for this one, then. To try and get more coming through. The dock is wrong, says Brandon. Yes, the dock is wrong. I misplaced it again for the second time. 
but that is Brandon's fault. Why is that not? Oh, oh, it has to be one square further back. Okay, fair enough. I'll pause that a second. Do -do -do -do. Get out of the way and sort it. All right, let's try again. There we are. The dock is no longer wrong. There we go. I just clicked the only option that was there. Just a little challenge, Party Piggy says. Yes, it is a little challenge, is it? You know what, folks? Should we, should we allow somebody to buy an extra giveaway with Hellish Points? Okay, so uh, let me have a look here. Uh, so I'm going to go to the website, and if I go to the store, uh, now a text alert is 500 hellish points. Okay, I'm going to say for 300 hellish points, uh, if somebody buys that, I will do another giveaway. The person that buys that won't necessarily win, okay? But I have added that giveaway to the store. So now if you go to the portal and go into the portal store, there's an extra giveaway. If somebody wants to claim that, they can do. Okay, docks are sorted. Docks have definitely been sorted now. Let's get this salt in. And... Let's get a drop-off station. I really want to do shorter stations here. Should we do shorter ones? Yeah, let's do shorter ones. So can I get... I, I can get a tr piece of track across there. That accepts nothing. Brilliant. It wants to be one closer. I'll tell you what, I'll decorate it. Let's do a 6 by 3 It's going to be an input station. Uh, I'm not... You know what? I'm not down with decorating it. Let's add that there. There we go. Make it neater. Do it properly. Actually, this could work quite nicely. I've never done an exit of a station like that before. Okay, maybe not never, never, but I haven't done it in a long time. I don't remember doing it. The amount of stations I've built in OpenTTD must be astronomical if that's even the right word okay uh we've got to get this station over here so i guess we should be able to span over the water no problem right there we go oh i built the stations the wrong way around again that's twice this episode let alone any other time that's twice just today maybe we need a counter for that if we had a counter for that, the only problem is is that we'd have to go back through all the other live streams and videos and count the rest of the times that I'd done something wrong like that. What do you think is the best station design? Uh, now you're asking a question. Depends what you're doing. It depends on the throughput. Uh, it depends on how you like them to look. Uh, it depends on a lot of things. If you just like pure efficiency or whether you like to build things that are a little bit easier to build. Um, there are a whole host of reasons why you might choose different designs. Length of train will affect your decision. Potentially. Uh, I'm trying to think of other things that might affect your decision. Um, yeah, that's in the middle. That's annoying, that. I wanted to put signal on it. I'm going to have to do it like this.
There we go. I mean, I suppose I could have done it like that. Okay, that works. Um, brilliant, okay. Get some diagonals going here. Um, this isn't going to connect up well at this rate. Ah, I'll tell you what I'll do. Instead of digging into the hillside, I will have the hillside come out to meet the track. So we'll go up here like this, then go across. Nobody's bought the extra giveaway yet. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Have we got any votes going? No, there's no there's no ongoing votes. There's no ongoing giveaways apart from the two monthly giveaways. So we're all good. Okay, cool. Ah, what what am I doing? There we go. Fantastic. Extra giveaway. <laughs> Oh, there we go. An extra giveaway has been claimed. Chegso Kid, thank you for claiming that. I hope with the result of the spin, uh, with the uh, whole thing that you are happy with, um, with the game that is going to be chosen. It's 300 points, so it's not too bad. It's, it's quite low, yeah. Um... Yeah, there's there's no one fits all station design, and also people play in different styles. So there we go. Yeah, people. Yeah, there's quite a, there's quite a lot of people with a lot of points. Uh, if I go to the hellish points page, um, bef before before Chexo Kid bought that, uh, Chexo Kid had six thousand uh, hellish points. Uh, Jack and Max in fourth place with one thousand three hundred twenty five hellish points. And Tinman's there with 795, and Gamer Clark with 510. Uh, they have changed slightly now. Right, how do I connect this up without breaking everything? Uh, let's do it like this. So my beautiful exit that I did here, I'm going to have to change. Um, and also I remembered that I'm using sick length track, so that corner's actually fine. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Um, Brandon says that um, 300 points is about five hours of watching. Is that right? Um, let's get my calculator out quickly. 300 points divided by... Uh, normally, I think you get one point a minute every 10 minutes. So that's going to be 300 minutes, right? Which is five hours. So if you're viewer plus, that's only two and a half hours of watching, which is probably going to be the length of the live stream. So 300. It's not that much in the grand scheme of things. Okay, let's get some salt trains on as well. Salt, 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 salty, salty, salt, salt. There we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Train's too long. I got trigger happy there. Trigger happy with the train length. Also, I've got an unloading station instead of a loading station. Let's get four trains there. I'm going to be optimistic about that. And let's fix this so it's a mineral silo station. There we go. That's much better. Uh, yeah, it's 20 uh, points for viewer plus every 10 minutes at the moment. I'm pretty sure we're going to keep it like that. And Timman says, I've moved up to 8th place now. Trigger happy. Don't give Hellish a gun. I mean, I do airsoft in. Or did do in the past. Um, had some great, great times doing that in the past been good fun okay train where are the trains the trains are in the depot have i given the right orders uh yes okay 
So that's one hooked up. I am going to change this one as well. We're going to go six length on this one. That seems really short. Okay, so this part of the network is going down to six, but only this part of the network, okay? I suppose I could just do that. I'm not going to. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, so we just need to adjust this one quickly. Uh, six station remove. There we go. And this time we're slanting that way. Perfect. Now I haven't put the depots on. It wasn't perfect. There we go. Brilliant. Okay, so that bit's all in there. Actually, having that six length would it made it e would have made it easier to put the docks in. I think I feel like we need a little bit more decoration at that docks though. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at. Just have a pile of processed products here, and a forklift. Um, we're not going to have shipping containers, right? What's that? That's steel. Barrel. So some barrels stacking up. There we go. We've got we've got a forklift and some crates and then a load of barrels. Um What else have we got that we've got in terms of facilities? Um little shed. Can have a little shed at the back. Little, oh, put a silo straight in front of the shed. That's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, Jebula says, strange my hellish points haven't increased recently. Should do. Every 10 minutes. Uh, I mean, that's no good either. Is uh, What about marshalling yard? Have we just got any blank bits? Hmm. Fixtures. Yeah, that's, oh, hang on. We've got to have some of these cranes, right? What do you mean you can't build railway station there? Uh, it's got to be at least length two. Okay, there you go. Um, we'll have a cr oh, we could have a crane there, I suppose. What we could have done is put like a tunnel here so that it can go over proper, or better, I should say, I suppose. Um, let's just fence it in, I suppose. I guess, is there a car park or something? Doesn't look like it. Okay, never mind. Let's have a random crane like there. <laughs> 30 from the stream? Hmm. Doesn't sound right. Do you need to refresh the page? That is true. Okay, so we've fixed the length of that. We've got that in there. Let's get the trains in here. So we need a new vehicle. We'll put the engine in. And then we need... What are we transporting? Sodium hydroxide. My <laughs> probably least favourite thing now in the whole of furs is sodium hydroxide. It's caused so much pain. So much pain. So we've got full load there. Now, because this doesn't accept sodium hydroxide, we need to do a transfer order. Transfer and leave empty. Uh, I don't think I cloned that with shared orders. I did not. So we'll take these orders and we will then just reclone it, holding down control. And there we go. 
Brilliant. Joe says, my points have gone up by 100 since the start of the stream, so it works. What you've got to remember is, is that for YouTube, you needed to have um, chatted. Like, in, for YouTube, you have to say something. Uh, and for Twitch, you have to be in chat. You can't just watch it. I don't know how you can watch and not be in chat, but apparently, yeah, there we go. Yep. As long as you say hi or something, then it should be good. <laughs> the forklift won't get out of the shed now. Oh, oh, I left that in the middle. No, we don't want that like that. Um, ooh, what shall I put? What shall I put? Do we have a little bit of raised ground for no reason whatsoever, like here? Yes. Yes, we're going to do that. Um, we just need to yeah, but there we go. There we go. That's better. You um, wonder if the ISR tiles count as an entire station each time. Each time what? I'm not sure. Um, Tomaz says, I uh, seen the vote for the next series today. I'm missing one option over there. You do remember one series of Minecraft that you did swap a character with other YouTubers. Body swappers. Oh, yes. Body swappers. Okay. Um, so the short version of the of body swappers was is that um, the idea was is that each YouTuber put their video on their channel and we had a playlist. The problem was is that um, the YouTubers that I collaborated with on, I think we did two or three seasons of body swappers, um, didn't really follow through on the content creation side of things and some of them even removed or deleted their videos which means we haven't got we've got incomplete series so i think for body swappers we kind of just archived that and if i ever had a uh, community where we had enough uh, content creators who played minecraft i would be happy to look at bringing that again back again but it's not something we can do right now. The forklift has been saved. <clears throat> um, right. Let's see. What is next? We've got our signals there. We've got our... What's this? Soda, ash, and salt. Uh, we can actually put engineering supplies in that to make it go gung-ho. We should do that. Let's do that. It's an easy little thing to do. Um, we can fund uh, a wharf. Is it a wharf? There we go. Because a wharf gives us engineering supplies and we can transport them over here. Just use a little cargo road thing. Just to transfer that across. I don't need two depots there, but never mind. <laughs> no funding. Oh, funding. Oh, you tell you what, I just won't use it. I forgot about no funding on this island. I just won't use it. I need, right, I'll, I'll, I'll add a note on that. The, the... The forbidden place. For bite, forbid, de, forbid, forbid, den, de, den. Is that two Ds? Forbid, den? Doesn't look right. There we go. So much money wasted. It's fine. I've got 31 million in the bank. You already have one. I already have one where? I mean, there's one over here. That's a book terminal. You mean this one? 
Are you saying that I should get the engineering supplies from here and boat them all the way around? Because that is a good plan. I like that plan. <laughs> engineering supplies boats around there. Oh, I'm not sure that's a good plan. That is a long way to boat engineering supplies. <laughs> they shut down. Yes. It's the forbidden place. Tell you what we haven't done yet. We haven't named something after a viewer plus subscribers. So let's do that now. Let's spin. Now, I'm going to be generous tonight. We're going to spin out of viewer plus subscribers who are in chat. And this is using the same figuring out who's in chat that the point system uses. So... Let's see, and I don't think we've ever done this before. So let's see if we can pick a viewer plus subscriber out of the chat. That looks like it's working. Oh wow, it looks like we have seven viewer plus subscribers in chat right now that have their names registered. Tinman? Oh, we might have to respin. We might have to respin. Um, I'm pretty sure we named something after you already. Did not would we? Was it Tim's old salt plan? New viewer plus subscriber. Fantastic! A brand new sub. Helms Deep Slate. Thank you. Thank you very much for the sub there. That was brilliant. You're, oh, there's a few people that apparently are here but didn't get put on the wheel by the system. Ooh, I wonder if your names are being processed correctly. We'll have another look. Okay, well, we'll have a look at that out of out of time. But thank you very much to the brand new viewer plus subscribers. How many new viewer plus subscribers have we had? One, two. Um, three, four. Is that five? Five brand new viewer plus subs. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. Need to chat more? Maybe. Remember, you also have to set your name right. You have to set your name correctly um, on the portal, on your profile. Okay, it's on the home of the port portal page. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, Timon says yes. That, that plant is named after uh, Timon. So let's see if I can fit... Mm. Okay, I will re-roll. Let's re-roll. After chat again, I now get in points again. Ooh, I wonder if there's some sort of timeout on that. Okay, let's let's re-win, at least re-spin. See if there's more. That's less. Now there's only six on that wheel. I think. <laughs> oh no, it's spat on Timon again. Hmm, how strange. Let's uh, spin live stream viewer plus chatters. Hmm. Should we try again? Let's have another go, see what happens. It's stuck with these six people. It's stuck with these six people, so I'm not sure what's going on. Well, I will check that for next time, but Jebulus, we are naming something after you in this live stream and if i remember correctly yes you was our second brand new subscriber tonight which is absolutely fantastic uh you can choose you can choose if you're still watching which you should be um we can either name this dock area after you so the kind of the tran this is the sodium hydroxide transfer point or we can actually name the the plant after you um, I'm not sure what else there is. Oh, there's the comp there's the um, the body plant. You could have the body plant as well. Uh, so there we go. 
<laughs> Timmy says I'd never win something, but now twice without any prize. Yes. So there we go. <laughs> Interesting interactions you have here. Yes. We're getting we're getting some interactions going on. Um could one of the moderators and please sort it out amongst yourselves add a um name a train into the hellish point store for 500 points there we go name a train after yourself after your username and we will do that as well so um yeah i'm looking here in the moderator chat uh, deb jebulus if you are still active in chat let us know if not i will pick something in a little while okay uh we can't take the engineering supplies that far by boat, but I could take them by plane. Let's do that. So there's an engineering supplies pickup point, and there is an engineering supplies drop off point. There we go. <laughs> or you could name the second plant after you as well. You know what, Tidman? That that I'm I think that is cheeky enough to be appropriate. You just got two spins of the wheel there and didn't win because you had already been picked in a previous live stream. There we are. Brandon's put it up there. So now, uh, if you go to the Hellish store, you can purchase uh, naming a train after yourself for five hundred Hellish points. Okay, let's get a new aircraft. Uh, we're going to... Oh, can we do... Oh, we can do engineering supplies. Oh, there's a new aircraft. I'm pretty sure that's a new aircraft. Let's buy that aircraft and refit it for engineering supplies. 18 crates. Can I do... Can I just go engineering supplies and it'll tell me how many crates? 9 crates, 7 crates, 18 crates. Fantastic. Okay, so we're going to go here, full load. Then we'll fly down here, drop off. I think we'll have a fleet of six. There we go. Brandon says, gotta say, I like these pop-up buttons. Yes, the pop-up the uh, the pop -up, um, things that come up in the corner are, are quite good. Uh, I guess we probably need a... For any of these things Hellish is talking about portal.masterhellish.net or something maybe i don't know the only thing is i don't know why the hellish store t-shirt one's broken i've got a feeling i've messed up some css somewhere um but never mind okay so that should get going to gung ho sometime soon there's actually a lot of salt there it was a good choice going there folks if we look on the map we've got this one over here as well Oh, do I need to do this one too? I do, don't I? Ah. Right, I'm gonna let chat see what I do next. We've got we've got some depots to do on this line. That is for sure. Um, I'm gonna do some depots coming off this bit here. So I'm gonna integrate them into the corner. There we go. And we're gonna get. Well, I'm just gonna let you shout out what you think I should do. I feel like my ice cream's wearing off, though. Like uh, for those of you who didn't join at the very beginning of the live stream, uh, I've got a slightly sore throat tonight uh, due to what I believe to be uh, allergies, pollen allergies. And there we go. That's a bit wonky, isn't it? Never mind, I don't care if it's a little bit wonky. There we go, we got we got one in. Um, is there another way to pay for Viewer Plus other than PayPal, says, uh, says McBora? Uh, no. No, only, po um, only PayPal process my Viewer Plus. Um, hmm. I don't know if you need PayPal if you get a 100% off token. 
And what I could do is potentially sell the 100% off tokens some other way. But at the moment, yes. Only, uh, only PayPal. <laughs> Brandon says, I'll pay for it with Plex. Oh, somebody tried to do that. Um, and it caused a bit of a bit of a stir because I was like, I, I can't accept Plex. And they were like, why not? You know, it's useful to you. And I was, I was like, yes and no, it's complicated. Probably, f I, and I didn't even think of it at the time, but for probably for tax reasons, I'm not sure accepting Plex is a good idea because it's kind of off the record as far as like accounting goes and i i do my accounts like i declare income etc i actually did my last financial years accounts today we've got another wonky one here on the corner why do i do keep doing wonky corner ones i mean aesthetically i think they look okay maybe i should make the other bit just a little bit longer so that they meet up at the same point what do you think Hmm. Yeah, that that looks okay. The only problem then is is that you've got the uh, the depots are not in alignment. I don't think that matters too much because it kind of matches the the corner of that there. Yeah. Yes. So isk unfortunately is no good to me. Um, have you checked your production at Hellish City? No, we haven't checked the Hellish City production recently. We'll go and check that soon. Uh, I'm thinking about trying to avoid putting depots on that diagonal, but I probably should do. Um, ah, here we go. Uh, I, Master Hellish, how do you auto-remove signals when building track? Uh, it's a game setting. So if you go to settings and... Uh, I think it's in signal. Automatically remove signals during rail construction on. You need to enable that and then it will do it. It's not a mod or anything like that. Um, you can pay for it as a guest using a debit card, says the wasted one. So you don't have to then have like a PayPal account. Like you can just use a debit card and PayPal will process that debit card without uh, with as a guest checkout. Yes, I did forget that wasted one. So you don't have to have a PayPal account. Uh, you might need it for the, the um, giveaway. Um, you might need it for the reoccurring one. Giveaways. Did I not do the extra giveaway? Oh, I am so sorry. I'll get that started right now. The extra giveaway is going to be for... And you know what, Chexo Kid, I'll let you choose either Gotham Knights, Euro Truck Simulator 2, or Ticket to Ride. There you go. Uh, okay, so we've done some depots there. Let's go over to the Hellish City. We're at 10,000 in population and this city is not growing because we need vehicles, which is what we're working on now. Uh, sodium hydroxide is at zero uh, storage, though. Uh, everything else is looking pretty good. Cast iron's a little bit low. Electrical parts is a little bit low, but that's not too bad. Um, you came to YouTube chat, thought you were not reading Twitch. I read both. It's just sometimes I get a little bit high behind with uh, chat. Every now and then... I forget uh, or, or or miss a message, uh, but I do try and keep up. Euro truck, please. Okay, so thank you very much to Chexo Kid for uh, purchasing a giveaway with their hellish points. A giveaway will now start for Euro Truck Simulator Two. Go to portal.masterhellish.net to enter that giveaway. Uh, I, I wonder if Chexo Kid sat there going. Hope nobody enters. Hope nobody else enters. <laughs> it's like, I want to win it. <laughs> um, 
What's this? It's a bank? Is that a bank? It looks like a bank. It apparently is a bank. Oh, the, oh, it's not a re, it's not an industry bank. It's uh, this mod thing bank. Like it says bank there, look. Like you've got theatre and fire station and another bank. They're like, how many banks do you need? We've got one, two, three. Three banks, a library, a theatre and a church. Those proportions seem a little bit off to me. It's not actually a bank, yeah. You thought it'd be nice people. It's nice for people. Well, it's appreciated. Thank you. Uh, so, Hellish it is not doing well. Uh, well, it's doing okay, but it needs to do better. We need to bring vehicles in. And we're not going to get vehicles in. Have I not got depots on this line either? Oh, we could spend an entire live stream just building depots. This is where you want templates. Uh, okay, let's get this other thing in over here. This Sodash mine. Let's do a little... Oh, what? Oh, I thought it was on drag and drop. Uh, six by three. I like simple stations like this. One of the main reasons why I like it, he says placing a depot in the wrong place, is that I am used to building them. They make sense to me. It's easy. And if it's too difficult, then I don't know. Oh, great. I suppose I was going to say if it's too difficult, I'm not having fun. But that is a big fat lie. Like, I I love difficult games. Um, I, I play too many difficult games sometimes. Way too many. Uh, do, 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 do. Brandon says Depot Land, an island that's all depots. Yeah, there was a player in the uh, Open TTD stream I did. Uh, well, I say I did, Spiff did, um, where I joined in and I had boats going around an industry and somebody used depots to claim the land around the industry instead of the land claim tool. Um interesting way of doing it there we go we're going to do a mixture of going up in height and digging there we go just a little bit of digging there's a river in the way I did not see the river. There we go. Untraceable, Untraceable Smurfs is a great stream tonight, but got to go now. See you next time. Thank you very much. Uh, hopefully we'll be here next Tuesday as well as normal. Uh, watch out for extra open TTD videos. So I might put a video out Thursday as well as Saturday. There we go. Try Factorio with what mode? Par is that paradon par paradonus? I I can't read that word. My my dyslexia is going into overdrive trying to figure it out, and I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do not want to know of this word you speak. Okay, I need to get another one in here, but I don't want to annoy the local authority too much because let's build a statue of the company owner in these local towns because we want the stuff. Um, I'm going to just cover the land up here, but before I do that, I'm going to build the station that I want. So, let's put the station up to this one. This one's going to be another drop-off station. It's going to have a sharp turnaround at the back, so I should be able to fit it in there. Oh, that's the third time this live stream I've done that. Okay. I suppose we can approximate. If this is the like 25th uh, episode in this series, 
then I've probably put the station in the wrong way roughly 25 times. There we go. Crazy complex. Yeah, I like complex games. Um, I like games that make me think, make me have to plan, make me have to work stuff out and rearrange sometimes. I think that's one of the reasons why I like Eve. Like, you can't just go into Eve and just do stuff without thinking about it because it either won't work or you will lose, uh, depending on the scenario. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. That's a nice little railway line. We can clone one of these trains over here. How many trains have we got over there? feel like I'm missing some trains. Oh, did I just not pause, unpause for long enough? I did not. I did not unpause for long enough. Okay. Let's get rid of these orders and do some new ones. So full load here. Unload there. And we'll clone it so that there's four of them at least. There we go. Space exploration is good fun. Yeah, I like space exploration. Yeah, as a general rule. Um, oh, I watched or attempted to watch the launch of Starship. That didn't happen. Um, I was on the Discord in a chat channel. So if other people wanted to join me, uh, they could do. Me and Brandon had a little chat about Starship and stuff. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, we're at, there's actually a thread in the general forum as well um, that you can go and check out. Uh, okay. Oh, you meant the Space Exploration Factorio mod pack. Yeah, a little bit more just Space Exploration me. There is another salt place in. I guess we need engineering supplies for it. Oh my goodness. It's a bit of a long way to fly. No, it's not too bad, actually. Is that too far to fly engineering supplies there? I don't think so. Let's clone one of these. <laughs> Fly from here all the way to the airport that doesn't exist. There we go. Um, and then clone, 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 clone. Brilliant. Set them on the way as well. Do your planes have the range? I don't think so, Joe. I think I'm being a little bit optimistic with that. <laughs> uh, very optimistic, yes. Um, there is actually a space exploration game that I would love to, to make. But I've got time to make a game. Maybe a tiny game. Uh, okay, did we rename something after the viewer plus subscriber? We didn't, did we? So I don't remember seeing Jebulus jumping out in chat so what we'll do is we will rename the brand new uh body plant after jebulus and i can't think of anything funny off the top of my head right now so we'll just put it in brackets and we'll if anybody thinks of anything to call this then there we go uh, the Wasted One says, I love Elite Dangerous. Elite Dangerous is also on my list of games that I want to test, I think. It's there somewhere. I've got Satisfactory, Reactive Drop, Noctua, Altitude, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018, Starbound, RuneScape, the new one, Warframe, Locomotion, Civ 6, Endless Space 2, Elder Scrolls Online, Everspace, Talisman, War Thunder, Elite Dangerous, there it is, Conqueror's Blade, Rise of Industry, Robocraft, Distance Worlds 2, and... Uh, Valkyrie, Warzone uh, are, are all games that I want to play and give a go at and haven't got round to. Recently I played Halo for the first time ever. There's something. Like never played it before. <laughs> Jebulus's body. <laughs> Spelt wrong. There we go. We'll put that there. Talisman has been on my list for a long time. That is true. That has. I'd love to play it in VR. Yes, Brandon. Quantum Distortion. Uh, okay. So that is now two salt places. 
hooked up to this uh, this plant here, which you know what, Tinman, uh, you won two wheel spins for something that you couldn't win. I'm gonna put your name here as well as on the other one. So you are on both plants. Uh, Tinman's plant. Other plant. There you go. So we've got Timmons other plant, and then over here, next to uh, Explodedville, we've got Tim's old salt plant. There we go. Tell, tell it, a lot of games have been on my list to try for a long time, and it's because I concentrate on content creating. Like I would say, at least at least eighty percent of my gaming is content creation. Okay, so we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six new railway lines. We need to get some ships in at the docks here. That's quite a lot of new trains, actually. How many trains are we up to? 313 trains now. Uh, I'm going to end that giveaway for Euro Truck Simulator 2 soon. So uh, if you want to be within a chance of winning that, go and check that out. So now we need to figure out what ship we can use to transport the sodium hydroxide. Apparently, all of these. And we can sort by speed. Because reliability, I don't think, even matters for a ship. Did you do the boat with sodium hydroxide? Snowman, great, line, great minds think alike. Maximum speed. Here we go. So, that has terrible speed so if i go down towards the bottom that's got a really good speed small tanker for coastal and uh, yeah but it's small that's a problem or is it a problem we want regular deliveries don't we um so these ones are even smaller small freighter small freighter Hmm. That one's got a different speed on river or canal, but to be honest, it's not going on river or canal, so that's fine. And it is slower than these three. Okay, we'll go with this tanker here. It's not very big, but that means we're going to get regular deliveries. It's got a good speed. Its reliability is good, not that it, I think, matters. Uh, small, quick deliveries. Yeah, let's do that. We'll buy and refit the ship. And to begin with, we'll just have one. We'll full load here. Whoa, steady. And we'll... Oh, we need to do the route. Okay. So we'll go to this depot. And then to the, the thingy. And then back through the depot. We use the depot like a boy. And then we can service as we go through it. There we are. Ship 16. Cap. That's a good name for it, actually. Cap. Timmons Old Cap. <laughs> Got to be careful with that, eh? Got to be careful. Okay. Nobody's purchased Name a Train. Interesting. I thought somebody would snap that up. Uh, right. Let's end that giveaway, shall we? I'm pretty sure I announced that it was ending soon. Let's end the live giveaway. And the winner is... Bonsinego! Congratulations Fantastic. to you. If you're wondering how I know before it pops up on the screen, it tells me when I click the button at the top of the screen who the winner was. It just takes up to 15 seconds for it to appear on stream. Or is it five? I think it's five seconds, actually. Yes. Up to five seconds to appear on the stream. Up to 15 seconds to appear um, in the YouTube chat. But there we go. Congratulations. If you add name a boat, somebody will buy it. Oh, yes. I bet they will. 
Um, go on then. Go on then, moderator. One of the moderators. Go go. add name a boat the same as name a train. Okay, we're going to unpause the game and just see the fruits of our labor now. We've been, we've been doing this for a little while. Uh, we've got new trains coming in here. We've got 9% filled up at the uh, steel sheet out. We haven't got really anything coming in to Jebulus's body at the minute. Uh, but hopefully Fantastic. we will. Fantastic. Oh, DJ Egg named claim a train. Um, claimed name a train. There we go. Uh, we're gonna have a train named DJ Egg, I suppose. <laughs> Joe says, just curious, how long you plan to play for tonight? Um. I'm going to do a, a roughly a three-hour stream, so we'll have a, another 20 minutes or so. My voice is starting to to go, and without eating more ice cream, I don't think I can manage. Um, there's our first aeroplanes going over. So they must be full of engineering supplies. That, they are shifting those engineering supplies quickly at the minute. How many engineering supplies are there? Are they not on full load? Um, they are. Okay, fair enough. Name the boat is still there. That is true. So I got to name a train, DJ Egg. So let's name this one. Train number two. There we go. DJ Egg. We've got Big Doc Fan and DJ Egg now um, in train form. Yeah, it look, I did put full load on them. <clears throat> so just to remember, folks... Um, we name vehicles sometimes if people spend hellish points, but the only way to get your name named uh, like a city or a town or uh, a hub named after you is to be a Viewer Plus subscriber. So uh, thank you to all five brand new Viewer Plus subscribers tonight. Uh, it's been absolutely amazing having more people join. We're getting very close to that 75 target. We're going to need some sort of celebration um, and maybe some sort of giveaway for that 75 target. But uh, if you have got any ideas for that. Maybe come along to uh, my Discord. And in the general forum. Do a post. And maybe do uh, use the ideas tag. Or if you've got an idea now. Shout it out. Uh, but let's get back to OpenTTD. Hopefully the first aircraft. Yeah the first aircraft have just landed. So this is already enhanced. Which is fantastic. And the aircraft going back back already seem to need to service. <laughs> Brandon wants to buy a boat. I don't know if Brandon does want to buy a boat or not. Those aircraft are going to space themselves out naturally over time because they're on full load orders so they won't leave until there's stuff to take and also the two different journeys are slightly different lengths so it'll be alright. <laughs> Jackamack, hey better late than uh, to the stream than never. Jack and Mac, we're 45 pa minutes past the normal end time of this live stream. Fantastic. Oh dear. I think Brandon's got a boat named after him. You are the name the boat king. Okay, I'm going to name this boat after you. Because we do have other boats. But this one's like the new special shuttle boat. So there you are. Wizard Brandon the boat. Wizard, Wizard's barge. Yeah. 
Do you think you need more planes? Maybe. I mean, if we if we're already getting gung ho, then probably not. So if we wait until the end of the month, we will see if we get gung ho in production. I don't know if that's when it updates. Um, yeah. So that's already gung ho. We probably just need them to space out a little bit. Brandon McBrandon face. Oh, it might have to be. There we are. <laughs> Bra um, Brandon McBrandon. No, no, no. Hang on a minute. Brandon McBrandon boat. It's got a boat in it. Face. Boat face. Brandon McBrandon Bowface. There we go. <laughs> oh, you hope one day uh, you get to name a boat a wizard did it. I mean, normally we just name the vehicles after the people who spend the hellish points on it. Um, yeah, probably do. Oh, I don't think we need more. We'll see. It is hard to say quickly. Brandon McBrandon Bowface. No. Oh, I think I said that right. Uh, also, it's the same as the double switch slip or whatever it was. What was it from Transport Fever 2 that we were talking about? Okay, we've getting our first supplies being delivered down here now. Um, at Tinman's other plants, we've got 82%, so our boat might be going soon. Um, more supplies coming in here. That is now enhanced, which is fantastic. I thought people would use the alerts more than what we've had. Maybe I made them too expensive. Oh, wow. We've actually got salt piling up here. Okay. Uh, although that is now, oh, it's not, it's only enhanced now. It's lost its gung-ho status. That's the forbidden place. I placed it down before realizing. Uh, maybe we do need more um, more airplanes. Let's clone some aircraft. So we're going to clone... One, two, three, four of those ones. And then four of these ones. And that'll be ten of each then. Uh, which one are you? You're going to... Little Barham Torona Beds? What? That's a weird name. There we go. We got another four of each. Jackamac says, uh, you would have... You would have to go to a separate website to do them. What? You only have 150 points. You you have to go to a separate website to do them, so there won't be as many alerts as the old system. That's fair enough. Yeah. That's a good thing. This is our system. I coded uh, the, uh, the Hellish Portal and Hellish Tools for us... So that we can have our nice little system. Now we wait for a Brandon is getting lost message. Oh, yes. What we should probably just like encase the boat with uh, land so that we get that message. Where do I claim a train name? You don't see it at the portal store. Uh, we only post a couple every now and then. But if one of the moderators... I mean, why am I saying if one of the moderators wants to add it? Um... I can, I can add it. Uh, name a train. I'm going to add another one. I'm feeling generous tonight. Add it. Well, name a train. But because this is the second one of the evening, it's going to be 501 points. There we go. So name a train has been added to the store. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, right. So the aeroplanes are doing their job. We're getting lots of trains going Fantastic. through. Fantastic. Name a train has already been purchased. <laughs> Save a psycho. Am I just naming it after you? Or is it something in particular? I don't know. 
Uh, we've got... Oh, oh, have we... Delivered? Hmm, I thought... That train's... Oh, the signals are the wrong way around. There we go. Rename train one to my train. That way... Now, train one's already been taken, I think. Yeah, train one's taken by Big, big Doc Fan. You can be... That was nearly a problem. You can be train three. Hey, Joe. Did I miss a message or something? Jackamite says the new system is more spam-proof, I think. Uh, yes. Yes, you can only do an alert every so often as a user. Um, although I don't, I haven't seen people press the button that shows their how many points they've got on the screen. Is that still working for people? Um. Oh, you're saying it's the signal's the wrong way around. Okay. Jackamack did one. There we go. That's yes, 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 yes. Some emphasis. That's cool. Party Piggy has 320 hellish points. You completely missed the stream was on. Oh, yes. Well, we're here for a little bit yet. We're here for a little bit. We're doing an extra long stream tonight. Two reasons. I'm not at work in the morning and the train's broken down. No, wait, that's not a reason. Um, <laughs> uh, the other reason... What was the other reason? Oh, I didn't do a stream last week and I feel bad about it. And I didn't do any videos last week. I feel bad about that as well. So you're going to get a long live stream tonight and probably two videos this week. There you go. Am I just, na am I just naming a train, train after you, Sabre? All right, then one of the vehicle trains from your st from your station. Oh, right. Uh, oh, yes, that was the... Uh, this one. So it's actually this. The only... 225 is the only vehicle train we have at the moment. Uh, copy and paste. There we go. The train is named after you. Stuart, I completely missed the stream was on. Yes, I see that. The, you please the train named named after you is making profit. Yes, that's that's always a good thing, isn't it? Still no tires produced. Still only thirty four percent for wire rods. This is this is not good. Although the the sheet steel seems to be going okay, and we've got ten percent. From the body plant. 20% now from the body plant. We've got all of these aircraft just circling around now. <laughs> waiting to crash. Oh dear. This is not good. <laughs> you you are currently alone at your own place. That's right. 2Bob Wharf is getting busy. Um, really busy. think we're actually starting to... Oh, the ship! Brandon's on his way. Brandon McBrandon Boatface. I mean, should that be Brandon McBrandon Boat Brandon Face? It wouldn't fit. It wouldn't fit. It takes time to get rolling, yes. Maybe send some trains off without full cargo. Ah... I'm not so sure about that, Joe. Seems like kind of cheating, doesn't it, eh? We like to do a lot of cheating, don't we, eh? And no, no cheating. No cheating allowed. Mm. It's medicinal. Numb in the throat. Here are Brandon. It's your boat. It's a nice little boat, that, actually. We need another boat. We call them boats, but they're actually ships. In Open TTD, they're referred to as ships. Um, and when that comes in, that will up the amount of units delivered 
and that should up the production from normal to enhanced to gung-ho, which then should help with this feedback loop that we've got going on here. We're up to 43% on the wire rod, 21% on the bodies, zero on the tires at the minute, and zero on the vehicles. And Hellishville, Hellish City or whatever we're calling it in this one, is stuck at 10,000 population with a great big square in the middle of the city. We've got the Heritage Railway train as well. Okay, uh, back to the boats. Where's the boats? Here we go. Oh, the, sec the boat's done its trip. Let's have a look at Brandon's stats. Oh, it actually made some money. 35 grand. And we need another one. Do it, do, do it, does it get named after Brandon? Oh, they're all named because they're cloned. Um, Brandon Mc... Brandon Boatface 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> oh, I have to be careful with cloning things that are named. What's the operating profit going like then? It's going to go a little bit crazy because we've got a load of trains that aren't going anywhere at the minute. Charge Brandon more points. Brandon's. How many points has Brandon got? Brandon is a little bit down the list now at 581 points keep spending them but this seems to be working quite nicely uh, Timman's other plan it's producing quite a good quantity of sodium hydroxide 208 what's the other one producing 207 so the new one is actually producing more than the old one let the man be happy with his boats. Yeah, we will. Brandon shipping lanes. Yes. We're not going to charge him more points, though. That's That would be a little bit cruel. It would be a little bit cruel, indeed. Okay. I feel like that is potentially a good stopping point. The component factory probably needs to get linked in next time. And everything around the component factory. I feel this whole section here is just going to really ramp up. He, he needs an office. He needs an office to overlook his boats. That is true. Let's let's give Brandon an office. So we can overlook his boats. Boaty goodness. Um, facilities. What sort of office should we let him have should we ever give him another shed yeah a little shed on the back of a depot he has to pay 100 points for it like everybody's spending brandon's points and brandon's not even doing it oh dear i love it let's make sure i save this before i forget because i'm only human i forget things sometimes but what I won't forget is to tell you about the event that's coming up in just under three weeks' time. We have a fantastic charity championship. And the important thing here is, folks, Brandon's won the last two. So everybody needs to come and take part. Otherwise, Brandon could end up winning the triple. We don't want that to happen, eh, Brandon? So, um, we're going to be playing six games from Steam. They're all going to be free. The first one will be Open TTD. And uh, it will be on Saturday, the 6th of May, from 4 o'clock UK time. And there's going to be £50 of Steam vouchers for the winner. Okay? So... There we go. Make sure you get that in your diary. I believe it's the King's Coronation here on that day in the UK. However, coverage of, from what I can tell from the timings, coverage of the Coronation on TV and so forth will have finished before my stream starts. Uh, Jack and Mac says, and the poll, didn't notice anything about it in the public side of Discord? No. 
No, I, I didn't. The polls, the live polls, I only did on the screen and in the things. I didn't do it so it goes into Discord. Do you think maybe it should? But I hope you enjoyed the stream, everybody. Don't forget, you got that event coming up on the 6th. And watch out on social media uh, and the Discord on Thursday for the poll where you can vote yeah, to what my next content will be. Because I'm thinking about doing something alongside this Open TTD series. So there we go. Um, well, it was on your community tab, so you thought it had been posted in, to all the socials. I'm sorry, Jacobac. I'm not sure what you're on about. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm confused, but that's fine. Um, yeah, New King time here in the UK. So uh, that'll be... From what I understand, TV coverage will start at like 7 in the morning. The coronation is at 11. And all the procession and everything and all the things that happen after the actual main coronation itself is expected to be finished by 3. So by four o'clock, when my stream starts, the coronation will be uh, will, will be finished, and you should, be, if you're interested in both, you should be able to see both. It's on the community tab right now. The community tab where? I'm confused. The vote for the next constant content stuff is in the community tab. Uh, the YouTube community tab. Oh. I have no idea about that. I will... Is That should have been scheduled. Or maybe, maybe it went out Monday on YouTube. Oh dear. Okay, never mind. Anyway. Anyway... Pat says good morning from down under. Good night, Pat. I'm off to bed. <laughs> Hope you've all had a fantastic stream. We've done, uh, f I think it's free giveaways. Uh, the monthly giveaways are still going on. We've had great fun. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have. It got pushed to you as an alert about 12 hours ago. Okay, maybe I set it to go out on the wrong day then. <laughs> okay, never mind. <laughs> Well, there you are. Some people have got it and it's going to be out soon. But that's all from me for now, everybody. Take care. Have a good time. Hopefully extra videos this week and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. <laughs>